Hello guys, Ethan Burr here, and today I'll be showing you the first process of reverse engineering a game. This is the Nun Steam edition of Counter Strike 1.6, and here is an example of a external cheat, not the best, using simple functions. As you see, I can move my mouse in game. I want to enter the health will always be correct. I'll demonstrate that by jumping here. 96 <laughs> and 96 in there too. The position is currently float, but I will change that to the rounded number um, at some point, but that's not a necessary thing to do. I've got a cursor. Too. Some simple functions. I got sound, and I've got um, a somewhat functionable trigger pump. Now, there we go. I haven't got it to not do it for knife, but it's not necessary for knife. So as you see. It's somewhat reactive. Sometimes there's the delay, but that's because of how the game um, displays it and doesn't display it. Trigger bot works differently. It doesn't do that when you hover over, which is necessary because it can get annoying. But it will work if I have a gun. Sometimes lags because game the bot chats or not. Sometimes the game does that. There we go. Don't even need to click the mouse for that. And that's what you can learn if you stick to reverse engineering because it took me half a year actually. I was using Visual Basic at first but then I had to learn C Sharp and I got it sorted now. So, all good. And if you are using the real version of the game, be careful because game cheat engines will detect this if it's running open so be careful if you use it in an actual game environment. So all you need to do is find the process, hit open or hit window list and select Counter Strike, make sure it's not the folder one. It's usually the empty one. So you hit open. There we go. Then the first thing we're going to try to make is to display our health. So what we'll do is the first scan of a hundred. There we go. and to jump. Seventy six. Next scan. That's decent. I already know the correct value. It's these two. How near that? It uses the module of client. And it's uh, o F star. These two are not. These are a H W module, which is something different. Plus, we know it's the client because it's obviously the client's health that we're checking for, not the H W client. So pumps actually pretty quick. Depending on your game, it might be different. I already know it's this one here, but we can check what axis is it. And this should be going quite frequently. This shows you that it's updating at at least one milliseconds or one ticks. And you know if it works because it has two ones and it doesn't go up each time you do that. So 
that's how we found our health. Comes handy. Remember to rename this as health. And let's call this client. It's handy to have this too. So, might as well have that too. This would turn out like that, but if you add the hexes, this would probably turn into 5. Usually clients have OS start and would continue with that. Now we can do multiple things once we found our health. Browse naming region, tools, dissect data structures. I'm just going to clear mine. Define A. Okay. 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 And here we got extra things from this one address that we have. This is not necessary. But if we scroll down, here we got a map that we're playing on and the overview of the map here. The next thing we're going to do is to figure out how I got my coordinates. There's two methods. The easy method, which is good for Steam games, is F, it takes status already, it shows us the X the Y and the C. And just scan 33, then move, go down a little bit, then retype status. And notice how that's negative 29, and you just scan for this. That is the fast way. But what happens if we don't know what it is? Usually, You can find it in the health. Coordinates are always a float. Heads up. Because if it was a normal integer, then you'd be skipping all the pixels within. So instead of like that, you'd be like jumping each through memes. And the game displays it, it converts it into an integer, a whole number, no faults, which comes handy for whatever reason that has it for, but I don't know why, but I like to keep it as a float. We can check this simply. So this is our x axis, this is our y axis, and this is wrong. And that's basically it. You can find more stuff um, once you find more things, but that's just a basic tutorial. So thank you for watching and see you.